my boy. Good, bro. How you doing, bro? Good. Good to see you. Likewise, bro. Guys, welcome. This is Locally. It's your boy, Jude. JP, I'm sitting with my favorite barber, Trey, located here in Fort Myers. This is the Hidden Gen. Um, in order for you to get here, it's a little bit different, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So I'm um, excited to be here and, you know, talk about what makes Fort Myers great with Trey and also for you to see his skills and give me a high top fade and also edge out the bit a little bit. <laughs> You ever watch that uh, TikTok video with that dude getting his hair cut? He's like staring at the barber's eyes like this. Oh, yeah, I tried to do one of those yesterday. <laughs> I want to ask you, you've been here your whole life, right? So mm -hmm. to you, what makes what makes Fort Myers great? What do you what do you like about Fort Myers? And you know, what don't you like about Fort Myers? I, I grew up in Fort Myers. I was born and raised here, so I've watched it grow from a, a country town of Lehigh being like nothing but woods mm. to now it's looking like how Cape Coral looked when I grew up. Mm -hmm. So, Fort Myers is changing, but everything I know is here in Fort Myers. All my friends, my family. I met my wife here, so okay. That's uh, that's, love. that's the special part about Fort Myers, bro. You know, what are some spots that that you like to go? Like you frequent a lot, you know, to eat and wait, um, wait, 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 wait. Fort Myers has a soul food spot. Yeah, Fort Myers has a soul food you, spot. Not like I'm talking about like Mama cooking that that type of stuff. Man, Mildred's is well known and the Fort Myers community. So like she's no, right no, there no, next no. to the farmer's market right now. I remember when my mom used to go there when she had a restaurant on 41. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, farmer's market is good as well. But Wait, Mildred's, I like Mildred's. I've been looking for something like I, something like super Southern, you know what I mean? Like real, real soul food. I like uh, um, the raft, that's like a food truck. Man, you um, put me up on game. <laughs> yeah, so he, he has different locations. You got to look on his social media to mm. see uh, to see where he's gonna be at. Now how long you been cutting hair? Four years. Four? Are you serious? Four years. Man, I, I met you like a year and a half, two years ago. That's crazy. Yeah. Had to figure out what I was gonna do, man. And ever since then, God's been looking out, man. I was actually a general manager of. Uh, lab testing company, provide lab tests direct to consumer without a doctor. I was always into art and a friend of mine uh, chose to go that route and I just saw, I've always liked being in that, that setting of the barbershop. I used to sweep hair when I was like 12, 11 in the barbershop and just that environment, me being able to be creative and be myself and, and it's, it's kind of like therapy for not only the barber, but also the client. They get to come here, be free of judgment, worry. You know, they get to be their self, congregate, crack on each other. Believe it or not, men like to be pampered too, bro. Like, if you offer like facials and stuff, I'll do it. <laughs> I, I I do. You lying, for real? I, I do. I do 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 the facial things, but uh, we'll have to get a facial next time. Not not many people want it. I'll do it. I would show you my toes, but I don't want you laughing at me, so. Yeah, no, nah, I bet you those are some critters. Um, yeah, I actually wrote a book. Uh, Archie Goes to the Barbershop is a children's book. Um, I did that right before my mom passed away. And, uh, but I used to draw, used to write music, things like that. Write music or rap, Trey? I used to write music. Originally, it was poetry. Oh, so is that how you got and your wife? You no, wrote her poem, no lie. Uh, you wrote her poem. This is my little ebony queen. Hey! Yeah, oh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, uh, nah, it was something I always hid from, you know, people mm. really didn't know I did music or that I wrote anything. You know, I was kind of scared mm. of judgment, mm. you know. A any words of encouragement for like, you know, local entrepreneurs, kids that are trying to you know, make it out from where they're from. What advice you got for them? Um, don't give up. Focus on your creativity. Um, try to do something for somebody else. Then you'll truly be happy. And you'll make money along the way. So that, that servant mentality. You know what I mean? 
What about you? What, what what advice you got? I think for me it's um doing something you're passionate about. All right. So uh -huh. a lot of times you tell your parents like, man, you can't make money doing certain things, but it's not always about the cash. There was one time I had a job that I made a lot of money from that job, but I wasn't happy in it. Mm -hmm. Right. My satisfaction comes in serving others, like you said. Right. So it's not always about the money. It's just finding something that you like to do, something you're passionate about and figuring out how to monetize it, whatever. It yeah, is. exactly. And there's yeah. always a way to monetize it because your gift will make room for you. So for sure. Man, whose yeah. show is this, bro? Is it mine? Is yours? Yeah, nah, it's yours. Bro. Nah, hey, don't cut this it's out. Like Leave mine. this in. And he's trying to take my show. Nah, bro. No, nah, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> Trey, I appreciate it, bro. Right, Thanks, brother. man. Appreciate yeah. you, man. Yeah, now let me get that thing right. though. Most definitely. For sure. Cutter or something like that. How can they find you? Instagram, Trey Fades 239. T R E Y F A D E Z 239.